Has reading a mother goose. Give me my book. Hey guys, how about us paying these mother goose characters a frightful visit? A ghoul idea. Thanks for the inspiration, Casper. I've got to go to Mother Goose Land and see what I can do. Mother Goose Land. Good folks, welcome. <laughs> Golly, sounds like someone's in trouble. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Can I help you? I'm little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. Three horrid ghosts scared them away. I should have known. <laughs> That's little boy Blue. The ghost opened the gate and let out his sheep and cow. Listen, it's coming from the top of the hill. Why, it's Jack and Jill. Gosh, we're sorry it got splashed. Oh, that's all right. What happened? Three ghosts scared us by the well. Yes, mean ghosts. Yow. Uh-oh, sounds like more trouble. Bye now. Why, it's Jack Be Nimble. What happened, Jack? Well, just as I was going to jump over the candlestick, well... I know the rest. Those bad ghosts booed you. I'll say they booed me. I never jumped so high before. And when I came down, I tore my pants on the candlestick handle. Gosh. Do you know someone who could sew you up? Sure. A girlfriend of mine. Let's go see her now. Okay, let's. Boy, am I mad. Little Miss Muffet, we were just coming over to visit you. Visit me? I've been visited already. Three horrible ghosts scared me off my tuffet and then stole my curds and whey. I'm furious. Curds and whey? What's that? Oh, just some milky water and cheese. <gasps> this stuff ain't very filling. Well, we got it for nothing. What's next on the scare program? We gotta find someone to scare soon, or we're gonna lose our ability. Characters of Mother Goose Land, I've called you all together to hear Casper's plan. My friends, this is my plan. If you all try your best not to appear scared when the ghostly trio come to scare you, they may give up and go home. Sounds good. We'll try it. It might work. I just hope they don't come to me. I might get awfully scared. Land sakes. Me too. Now who can we scare? Hey, look, the black mouth. <laughs> scared the clock and a mouse couldn't be wider. No, 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 sorry, Casper. I wasn't the least bit scared. But they won't scare me. <laughs> The 
the wall away. We're not getting anywhere, Mother Goose. I know, Casper. If you don't think of something to drive away those ghosts, I just don't know what we'll do. I have another idea, but I must get a friend to help us. Don't be away long. Wendy, I need your help in Mother Goose Land. The ghostly trio are raising mischief there. But what can I do, Casper? Use your magic powers. I learned once the ghosts are afraid of giants. This is Wendy, a good little witch girl. May she borrow your goose to make a little switch? Of course she may. A switch? Boo. Abracadabra, half a quart is a pint. But now I'll change a goose into a big, friendly giant. At your service, Wendy. This is gonna be our biggest scare. Howdy, fellas. A giant! A lake! There's no boat here! Only this old tub! The tub has a hole in it! How stupid can we get? We forgot we can fly! Come back and visit us soon. Thank you, Casper and Wendy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for your autographed book of Mother Goose stories. Bye!